Welcome into In the Post, the first In the Post of the 2015-2016 season. I'm Henry Bushnell. Josh Rosenblatt is alongside me. Um, Ohio State has just beaten Northwestern 65-56. It's Northwestern's second straight loss after a 12-1 non-conference play and a 13-1 start to the season. Um, and it's the second straight game where Northwestern's offense has really struggled, Josh. What went wrong tonight? Well, I think, I think a similar thing that happened to the Maryland game was a schematic uh, decision by Coach Thad Mata to run Northwestern off the three-point line. They really ramped up their perimeter defense. Um, and I think schematically that's been Northwestern's biggest challenge in Big Ten play so far. When you have teams, well-coached teams like Maryland and Ohio State that have good scouting, good game plans, the easy way to beat Northwestern is to take away the three-point shot. So when they're running guys off the perimeter, they trust their backline defense, which usually is filled with some pretty athletic guys, to alter shots at the rim and make things difficult. And the other reason that they have been able to do that is that Alex Ola is out. And Northwestern really doesn't have a guy, as good as Pardon's been, they don't have a guy that they can throw it to in the post. Yeah, and, and I think Pardon's play has been somewhat of a revelation. It's been positive. But I think sometimes people are getting a little bit carried away about his impact overall on the team. Yes, he's an energetic rebounder. Yes, he, but he still f struggles to finish around the rim. He's not making free throws. He's been fine defensively. I don't know if he committed a foul tonight. Um, he has those long arms but he doesn't have the same offensive presence as Alex Ola. Sure, he was the second leading scorer on the team with nine points tonight, but Ola is a guy that you can dump the ball into and teams have to double. They have to respect that in the post. Pardon, you can guard him one-on-one -on -one and you're, you're totally fine. I mean, he's just not developed yet as, a, as an 18, 19-year-old kid to, ha to have go-to post moves and to be able to utilize those long arms. And the other result is that is that there's so much pressure on Demps and McIntosh uh, with all that out, and with none of the wing players really stepping up and having a good good game and being consistent on offense. And you, we really saw that tonight. McIntosh basically played the whole game. Demps played 36, 37 minutes, something around that. Demps was really bad yeah. uh, offensively tonight. You and can't you can't get around that. I mean, he was McIntosh was didn't play his best game, but he was fine. Demps these past two games has really struggled. In the press conference, Chris Collins mentioned that he's, asked, he's going to have to go and take Demps, a fifth-year senior, into the film room and kind of sh point him out specifically places where he definitely could have found open shooters on the perimeter when he's driving. These are the first two games that he's had all season without an assist. He had no assist in either of these last two games. Yeah, and with that's the thing. He uses so many possessions, and they're, they're really not high percent shots. Mm -hmm. He was so good towards the second, towards the latter half of conference play last year. Um, and he sort of regressed to what he was early in his career now. Um, that's sort of troubling. Looking forward quickly to the Minnesota game, this becomes one of those stopgap games for Northwestern. They have an opportunity here to stop the bleeding at two losses in a row, something they weren't able to do last season. Is there something that you're gonna be watching for when they match up with Minnesota on Saturday afternoon? Nothing in particular. Minnesota is not a very good team, though. This is this is the game that Northwestern's offense should be able to get back on track. North, Minnesota does not have the athletes that Ohio State and Maryland had. Um, Northwestern should be able to get back on track. Um, 1.30 at the barn on Saturday. Northwestern will look to go to 2-2 two two in conference play. Uh, thanks for watching In the Post. Josh Rosenblatt, Henry Bushnell. See you soon.